Yo, what's up guys? Game Salute here. Now this video is kind of like to help you guys get the infinite minigun. You could watch some speedrunners and like get it, but I also want to help out. I also want to say this right now that this is not a 100% guarantee because there's some certain situations that's like random and stuff. So let's just get right into it. I just want to check if it's recording my voice because last time I did this, Wait here. it didn't record. It so, um, this first zombie, you're gonna want to like run past it because it's gonna be in this little animation and pick up the key, right? I put it at the, set, the first one, and you want to wait for him to like run to the right, and then you like immediately run. Use the key on this door. Go to the left. Oh, also throw away the key too. Skip this cutscene and this one and another one. I'm worried I might die doing this because it's live and stuff. It's not like edited video video or anything. I also don't have everything planned out, so <laughs> I also have. Like I, I just um. I'm pretty sure there's like a bunch of people already got the the infinite minigun, so I don't know. This video is just to help help those like people that didn't get it. Now this zombie, you want to be on the right side, really run far away from it. Now what I did was I grabbed the first state spray right here. And then I went to the east side of the RPD. Skip. Now I'm going to go into this room and pick up the, the handgun ammo because we're going to need that in a moment. I'm going to also pick up the, the first stage spray in the female bathroom, restroom. To run to activate the little door animation and you want to be on this side so that the zombie falls through here because if the zombie is in like this in this room right then they can mess you up when you get the cutting tool so yeah these two zombies you want to shoot them in the leg so they fall over and try not to miss a lot either so that one fell over. Now for this chubby zombie, you want to just take out his legs. Now the main reason I did that was because these zombies can mess you up when you're trying to get the valve handle in the east office. They could like bust through the door and stuff, right? So that's why I did that. Now I think I'm going to put away two of the first aid sprays I'm not so sure I don't <laughs> it's so hard doing the run wow like live and stuff but. pick up the herb handgun ammo I kind of just walk past this zombie hanging up there. I don't know. I just, I just do it. I don't think you guys have to do it, but um, 
pick up the handgun ammo right here. And you also want to like turn back around and pick up this handgun ammo inside this corpse or something under the cor under the corpse or something. Now this fat zombie, you want to take out his legs. Try to aim for one leg, I think. And you want to knife it until it dies for sure. Now you also want to knife this zombie right here. Make sure he's really dead, like for sure. Dead. Okay, I think he's dead. Now you want to pick up the gunpowder. This run, I'm just picking up a bunch of stuff for you guys. So, yeah. And open this safe. 9.15.7. And you also want to open Leon's desk. Ned, I think, yeah. MRG. Oh, you want to combine that? <laughs> oh my goodness. You do not want to run on this side because that, that zombie over there just chilling on his desk will wake up and like come back to life and stuff. So don't do that. You want to pick up the red, the green herb, sorry, and the wooden board. You could um, pick up the ink ribbon right here too, and the gunpowder. And you want to combine the red herb with the, the green herb right here. And you could just put away your stuff right now, like put that away, ink ribbon, gunpowder, gunpowder. You want to keep the, um, what's it called, the green herb and the wooden board. We're going to use the wooden board right here. Now this lady zombie will come back to life. Don't worry about that. You want to take out this zombie's leg. And you want to knife it to death. Make sure he's dead. And you want to go on this side and pick up the, the red herb and combine it. That's, that's the reason why I brought the green herb. I went up this way. I know some speedrunners go down that way, but I don't know. Pick up the key. I went this way, so. Um, what was that? I think I could pick up the gunpowder. You also want to make sure the zombie is dead. I think five shots should do it. I never tried it, but you want to make sure he's dead. Clear. It's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why was that? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. Uh, the lady zombie's over there. You want to do this really quick, go in this room, pick up the gunpowder, and then solve the unicorn puzzle, which is a fish, scorpion, I think. And then that, that little thing, I don't know what that thing's called, sorry. And we're gonna go over here really fast. You could take out her legs if you want. So she doesn't become a problem later on. And you want to move the desk by the the library books thingy, bookshelves by one. Pick up the handgun ammo. I think you can knife her if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Make sure she's dead.
And this zombie over here will come back to life. So... Like... I don't know. It, it will come back to life for your guys' room. Probably. Take out his legs. And then knife him. Make sure he's dead. I think. And we could pick up the, what's it called? The lion medallion over here too. I think the first one's a lion. And then the little leaf thingy. And then bird. Oh, we're gonna open this door. <clears throat> we're gonna open this door, right? And we're gonna put the medallions in there. And we're gonna go to the item box and put away some stuff. I think gunpowder, gunpowder, and I think the the good knife. Put away the good knife, and I think that's it. Bring a healing item with you just in case shit goes wrong. So yeah. Now we're not gonna open that safe because we're not gonna get that handgun, the JMB I think, I don't know what it's called. Throw away the spade key, go over here to pick up the weapons locker key card. And you kinda wanna move it, it's, it's, you don't have to move it but... You wanna go to the left and pick up the wooden board right here? We're gonna use that for later. Hey Marvin, this is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? I think I'm gonna be Use the cutting tool on this chain. I think you pick up the flashbang, the flash grenade, sorry. Pick up the handgun ammo and board up this window. That's weird. Okay. You wanna down this zombie? He might not be in this position, but Shit. just take out his legs. Um pick up the gunpowder right here too. Now the zombie will be trying to break down that door over there, this door. Now just be careful of the zombie. Now the good thing about taking out their legs is that they won't be much of a problem. Like if they try to bite you by the ankle, then it just sends you to caution. It doesn't send you to like danger, so that's good. Put away the good knife, the bad knife, acid rounds, then the valve handle, and I think we're good. Actually, yeah, okay, let's... Now for this next room, it's gonna be a little bit... It's not gonna be complicated, but... We're just gonna run. Now there's a zombie over here. Shoot him in the leg for a stun. Like like that, and then just run past it. Now this zombie will be right here. Try to shoot the legs for a stun, and then just run past it. We are not coming back into this room anymore. 
that's the last time we're going in. I think. I don't remember. But. Okay. Now I'll throw away the cutting tool. And pick up the detonator. Herb. Flash grenade. I'll go in this room. Put 109 for handgun ammo. And then use the weapons key card. Um, now the lady zombie, the zombie lady cop up there will be alive. So I'm gonna go in this room. Put away some stuff like this, this, and this. We're gonna get a, um, a red herb so we can combine that and I think that's it oh it looks like she fell down which is I think a good thing because we're not going back there I don't know she might be over there for your run or right here so be careful I think I forgot something yeah I forgot the valve handle Now you just want to take out her legs. I'm missing everything. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Okay, now she's down. I really sometimes have a terrible memory. Like. We're gonna get the, the flame rounds right here. Put cap. And another one. We're not gonna get the, what's it called? The hip pouch, the extra hip pouch, because it might cause problems for your playthrough and it takes some time. Now this first liquor. You just want to go into the room. Not much problems. Just run into the room. The Combine the red and green herb. Combine the battery with the detonator. And you want to combine this to make acid rounds. We are not coming back into this room, so pick up everything. And now once we go out, we want to just walk. Walk this direction. And this is where things might go crazy. Be careful. Actually, we took out all the zombies, so there's not much of a problem. I think he's still eating. Yeah, he's still eating. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. We gotta do a little glitch. Kind of, I guess. I'm gonna go into the, the library. And then go back into the room. Now that causes the bookshelf to not fall over. Which is good. I think it's bone arrow. Snake. Now, I, I'm not sure, sure. I'm just gonna run right here. And hopefully, it doesn't hit. The zombie came back to life. Which I didn't die. That's okay. We have a lot of healing items. Hi, Aaron. Oh, that zombie's alive. Um, take out his legs. One of his legs. So he don't become a problem later on.
I don't have a knife, but not much of a problem. I think I'm gonna move this bookshelf by one. We gotta go into this room. I think we could get handgun ammo over here if you want. Now, the knife, if you have like a, I don't know, 200 FPS, then it becomes hella strong. But I'm, I'm setting mine at V-Sync, which is like 60 FPS. I don't wanna like kinda cheat, you know, not too much cheating. I kinda also want this video to help out, like, live stream to help out the console players. Now we're gonna put everything away. Okay, um. Take one knife out. It's preferable that you use your first aid spray because the mixed herbs can be combined with the blue herb to make you, like, stronger. Um, we should bring like a uh, this for backup in case things go wrong. I guess things might go wrong. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I brought one for a stay spray. That's okay. Maybe you should bring two just in case you get hit a lot. We're gonna go down and get the, the hand grenade. Also wanna equip the knife first because I think Birkin has this little animation at the beginning and you get some free hits in. Now things could go wrong here, I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully everything goes okay. You just wanna knife him? Now when he faces the other direction, you wanna switch back to your flash grenade and then like stun it. It didn't work, which is not good. Throw a grenade, start knifing him. Like I used up everything like crazy. Now I think we're okay for now. You just want to shoot him. And just run around, I guess. And you don't want to get caught, like, you need to know where you're going so you don't mess up. I don't know where he's going. Okay, this is really new right now. I've never seen this before. I don't have any defense items either. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got him. That was some new stuff. I didn't. I haven't seen that through all my, I think, ten playthroughs of this game.
And we used up a lot of flash grenades too, which is not good, but it's okay. Want to pick up everything in this room? It would come in handy later on. Frag, f hand grenade, actually, actually. <laughs> Gonna go up here. This way. I think. Okay, we're gonna have to combine the the herb right here. I'm not trying to go for no saves because um, I'm not trying to be a tryhard, honestly. Yeah, we could still use the unbreakable knife and still get S plus. Um, put away the handgun. Um, store like six. Leave at least two, just in case. Yeah, you have to play this game on hardcore, and you can use the S the <laughs> unbreakable knife. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm not really using the unbreakable knife because some people like haven't okay. gotten the what's it called? All the Mr. Raccoons. We're gonna go in this room and pick up the flame rounds. And we're also gonna come back here when we get the the diamond key, I think it's a diamond key. But we want to do this very quick. If we come back here, this um, we're gonna go in that room to get the the red herb. The more drugs, the better, right? Oh my goodness, I'm not really into those stuff. Now we're gonna combine the blue herb with that. I also want to move like everything, make it look pretty. Get the white gunpowder. And you just want to walk in this room. You don't want to like run or anything or use any like flame rounds. Now we're going to open this little thing right here to get another red herb. We're getting a lot of stuff, so. And get a flash grenade. And now once we get the, the diamond key, we're just gonna run out of this room really quick. You should be able to run past this zone. And now you just want to walk. And you want to be on this left side. And you should be able to pass them really easily. Now this liquor chilling up here, we're gonna like kill it. So it takes just two shots I think. We're gonna go into the other room. Hopefully it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Go into the other other room. <laughs> this is really quick because those zombies will break down the door. Get the red herb. And then go back over here.
Must be where that guy came from. I'm gonna pick up the blue herb right here, combine it with one of the red herbs. Combine the the green herb with the red blue herb. Put away that one. It's always good to keep at least one healing item with you. We're gonna just take the handgun out now. Actually, we don't have anything. Um, oh, I think we're done using that key, so we could put it away. Now we're gonna um, put away the diamond key, I think. And we're, go we're gonna go down to get some some more items, like the handgun ammo and the uh, the white gunpowder. Now this zombie will break through the window, but that's okay. Get the handgun ammo. Get out of the room really quick, go over here to the locker and get the white gunpowder. I think you should be able to run past it. Yeah, because it's in this little animation. Now, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna come back into the Iron's office, but we're gonna go up here. Get the electronic part, more hang on ammo. And we're gonna take out these guys' legs. Out of ammo. Okay, looks like that didn't kill it. Drop it. I don't, I don't mean kill it actually. Now, if you notice, we don't have enough space for the large gear, which means we're gonna go back into the iron's office and then come back and get it. Examine this right now, so that one, that one, that one, that one. Maybe like twenty, keep twenty with you. I want to be careful now because these zombies. Hell is up with you. Looks like I got grabbed. That's okay, it just sends you to caution. get more handgun ammo right here and I'm 
You wanna take out this lady zombie's legs? Combine this with the blue herb. I did a little stun on it. <laughs> you could take out his legs, but it was kind of risky. Okay, it's over there, which is good. Now, Mr. X, this could be a little problem for you guys. Actually, it might be a lot of problems for you guys. But hopefully this goes okay. Now, we're gonna wanna equip the flash grenade, run to the left, and throw it right about now. this combine it I guess now Marvin can be activated to be a zombie if you run to the center you do not want to run to the center because Marvin could be a problem like don't run in there like just run around we're gonna like get the the tool for the um what's it called bookshelf put away a lot of healing items keep at least one flash grenade if things go wrong with Mr. X I'm also going to save here, it's recommended to save here. Kind of recommended. <laughs> I did this a lot of times actually. Um, okay, um, make sure you have the key to put away the large gear. And, um, maybe take some handgun ammo out like 43 now the zombie in the the room will wake up in the left side it will wake up that's okay we're not gonna be here long and once you get here just walk because this liquor could mess you up now I'm pretty sure once you get the tool Mr. X will come for you Pick up the hand grenade also. These hand grenades will come in handy, <laughs> come to use later on by a lot. You want to be careful. Mr. X could be going for you. Now we're just going to run this side now because we're not coming back here anymore. I'm really scared right now. Like, Okay, he's right there. I was kind of scared because I didn't know where he was. Put away the hand grenade and um, we should be good. We could actually almost forgot, almost forgot again. Take out the large gear because we're going to use that. Run around. Don't go to the center. I think we don't go. I think you could if you want, because we're not coming back. No, we should be safe for this. I suffered that zombie. Try to be careful. Now you want to push the bookshelf by one. Do this very fast because you're being chased by Mr. X. I open the door. We're fine. Hopefully. Yeah, we're good. Now, these few zombies right here. One's gonna be right there. That's okay. Just run to the right. Like, go into this room really fast. Use the large gear. Take that out, and we're gonna pick up the, the large gunpowder over there.
Oops. You can hear Mr. X pushing away some zombies. Oh, use the large gear right here too. And use the small gear right here and you should be able to get the electronic part. Try not to forget it because sometimes I forget it. That works. Examine it. Now you want to peek outside, see where the enemies are at. Oh, he's he's right there. You just kind of want to wait because this is technically like a safe room from Mr. X. Listen to footsteps. Trying to see where he's at. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Uh, we could go that way, but it's kind of safe, faster over on this side. Okay, he's right there. Run over here. This zombie, she went in the leg for a stun and just run past it. Open this door, unlock the door. There's some zombies over here, try to stun it. I wanna see my time, 41 minutes. Not the best, but all oh, the zombies back. Just stun it. It's okay if you get bit because you have a lot of healing items. Um, I'm prepping for the next area. Now I'm pretty sure you can't come in this room, so that's good. Sherry's puzzle ca causes me to have some problems with it because I suck at it. I feel like I'm gonna mess up here hiding. I know it's so simple, but I got caught once. Actually, like a lot of times. No. Okay. No. Okay, what the heck? Seriously having problems right now.
Oh, man. That took quite some time. Grab the key and start running. You are gonna be so fucking sorry. Go away. Oh, I hope I don't get caught here. Like. Circle the longer around. it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be. And you just want to chill right here until he flashes his light over on that side, on the left side. There and want to go. God damn it. And you'll just want to hide under this if you want. You just run and grab the key. Just you wait, asshole. 
Now we're gonna bring the um, what's it called? The the shitty knife, the knife that's kind of like about to be broken. So um, we could use it on a zombie. Try to look for it. That one. Hopefully everything goes as planned. I'm gonna bring another healing item in case things don't go as they go. And we're kind of going to have to like kill all the dogs. So make sure you have enough handgun ammo. Mr. X pops up right here. Just circle around him. Grab the green herb. And once a zombie breaks through the fence, just run through. Get grabbed and use the knife on it. And then just run. Looks like the only way forward. Now this zombie, just do a little stun on it. Asshole. Guess I'm taking out his legs. Now you want to kill all of the dogs. Takes about four shots or five shots. Grab the green herb over here for more healing items. Seriously? Okay, this might be problematic. Okay, he's dead. Shoot this dog through the fence and you're good. Get the blue orb over here and get the hand grenade and you just want to stun the zombie. Like that and just run past it. Now we could get more healing items, which is like upstairs, but I think we have enough, so we don't need to go up there. Hello? I have the pendant! I'm gonna go down and then go left and go down the stairs. Sherry? Where are you? Claire! Sherry? I'll be right there! Go, go, go! Thank <laughs> you. 
Keep going. Okay, I think I have a little glitch. Don't stop. Yeah, it's a little glitch. Now we're gonna combine the herbs. Put it away. Throw that. Put that away. Um. Bring this knife just in case things go wrong. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Keep going. Sherry, can you hear me? Ow, I'm gonna smell like shit. Also, don't forget to pick up the, the white gunpowder right here. You could pick it up later, but I, I just choose to pick it right now because we could put it away in the item box. Now the room we're going to, it's gonna have three zombies. Two of them is already like up and ready and the other is gonna be where we're trying to get our flame rounds. He's trying to get out of his animation. Just do this really quick. Go over here and grab the flame rounds. And then do a little stun on this zombie. And run past him. If you get caught, there's a good reason why I brought the um the combat knife. So that if you get grabbed or something. Put away all this stuff. We could also put away that one because we're gonna um get more. Trying to figure out what I need. Um, I think that's it. Pretty sure. I have a lot of healing items. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Holy shit. Um. Just for safety, we're gonna bring this in case. I don't know, just bring it, just, actually, we're not gonna bring that, um, We're gonna like um, use a lot of handgun ammo, so I think it's okay to throw it away if you run out of space or something. Now we're gonna get the um, the part for the the revolver to to make it a magnum, so it can shoot like magnum rounds or something. Two left, twelve right, and then eight. And when you combine it, you get like five rounds. Pretty sure. Now you just want to walk so you don't activate this zombie. And then once you get right here, you can run. Now we're gonna wanna kill these zombies, aim for the head, and try not to miss. Whoa, okay, that's really nice, but okay. Two headshots in one. <laughs> you wanna kill this zombie too, so he don't come back to life. Combine that. Gonna want to be on the left side so we could sprint past the the zombie, the the, the G adult. That's what it's called, I think. What 
Could pick up some, uh, um, what's it called? I'll just call it freaking Magnum rounds. Like, the, like, kill this zombie. Now you notice that we're kind of running low on space, but that's okay. Grab this really quick. The zombie's gonna be right there. Run back here. Now you want the zombie to submerge in the water. You just want to chill by the ledge. Now once it submerges, you can just run past it. I guess not. Oh, I got lucky and kind of like ran past it. Make sure it's like fully submerged. Now for this part, you're gonna want to tank through all the hits since you have a lot of healing items. And we're kind of running low on space too. Now you see them chilling like that, you want to be kind of far away and just shoot it to activate their little animation and run past it. If that one's still awake, that's okay because um, you can just take the hit. Uh, I got grabbed here, but that's okay. We could heal. I think we can use the blue herb right here. Oh, we're in danger. Holy shit. Okay, we use the first aid spray. I'm gonna switch back to Magnum rounds. And... What's it called? We're gonna shoot the zombie hanging like by the little rail. Don't need that one anymore. I like to examine these so I know what part they are. Get the blue herb, combine it with the red herb. Um, so you just want to shoot them right here. And now you have kind of like enough space, I think. Examine that one. We're gonna get the spark shot weapon. I think that's what it's called, what's it's called but yeah, get it and get this back and this back. If you run out of space, you could just throw away the, the handgun ammo because we're not really gonna use it anymore. Pretty sure. King plug. Now, um, get ready to use some healing items because Okay, we're gonna use the same technique Which didn't work oh. <laughs> I think when it's in a little animation, you could just run past it. Now there, there's one that's probably gonna spawn right here. He was just chilling, or he's already right there for your, your playthrough. Just take the hit, it's okay. Now we're gonna run over here, because that one is gonna charge at you.
Might get grabbed. Nope. Okay. Now for this Birkin fight, I kind of don't have a plan, but I'm just like thinking you need to shoot it. And I'm also going to save right here, because I could die right here. Queen right there. King right there. Bishop. Knight, rook, simple stuff. All right, Sherry, on my way. Gonna combine these healing items. Put that away. Uh, put that away. We're gonna use all of the um, magnum rounds. Hopefully this works. Probably might not, but okay. Take out the grenade launcher. Um, use flame rounds, I guess. Take out a first aid spray or a healing item. Oh, I forgot to save, I think. I think we should just bring some more flame rounds in case things go wrong. No, I think we should be good. The reason why I didn't bring the red, green, blue herb is because you get one right here going to the boss fight. Oh, shit. Now this is considered the safe spot. So you just hang out right here and wait for him to like open the, the little gate. I want to make sure this is recording. Seven minutes, not the best, but <laughs> just want to run past them. Should have known you wouldn't die. Hit the switch and just start shooting him, I guess. Okay, looks like that worked out. We're gonna hit the switch, which we can't. I use a flash grenade in case it don't hit. I was a little unsure. Now we could use all the magnum rounds if you want. Cause... Okay, we're 
good. Now you could pick up the handgun ammo if you want. I'm so sorry, Sherry. Maybe you should. This is taking forever. Oh, we don't have space for the little bracelet. The wristband. Ned said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Almost there, Sherry. We're almost there. Oh, good. The cable car. Okay. Better check everything. There's no turning back. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. For your safety, Stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Welcome to the nest. Enjoy your visit. No space. Oh, we should pick up the, the flame rounds right here. Four handgun ammo. Four magnum rounds actually. Put away that, 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 that. Also want to switch. Oh, bring the the crappy knife also. Uh, handgun ammo. Don't really need that much, but. Forgot the little wristband. Oh my goodness. I'm really good at forgetting things. Like Now you want to go right and grab the, the hand grenade, go left, grab the needle tr cartridges for the spark shot, and then just run this way. Grab the large gunpowder right here, and the knife right here. Now this zombie would grab you, so be careful. It's right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's two of them, which isn't something I planned, but... Get that one and get the. You could use this knife if you want. Did 
take out his legs. Lucky shot. But you could try to go for the um the stun on the head and then you just run past them. That's okay. You wanna put away a lot of stuff. That one, that one, that one, that one. Take out the spark shots and combine it. And then put it away. Now you're gonna wanna bring a flash grenade in case you get grabbed or something. I'm trying to see how this works. Um I think if you have some what's it called? Magnum rounds? Take those out. Bring 10 flame rounds. Not gonna need a lot. Um, yeah. Also, wanna switch this. been like quite a while since this game came out okay. I think it's been like three weeks I don't know white gunpowder right here and you want to run past this ivy really fast because he's not gonna grab you grab the flash grenade pick up this thing Dispensing. and you want to put the code in That's not right. Now we're going to go here. I'm gonna get the, the hand grenade right here also. Combine this with the um what's it called? The white gunpowder. Oh okay. Shoot him with the flame rounds. He might be right here for your for your run, but just shoot him. Now you wanna equip the, the hand grenade. So we're going to use that. Um, toss it right here. No, I think that one's going to come back to life. Kill it. Make sure it's dead. That's three. 
Now I'm gonna be on the left side. You could be on the right side, I think, and just run straight. Now I brought the Magnum with me. <laughs> the Magnum. So I could, like, headshot these guys. Oh no. Uh, hopefully that kills them. That almost got grabbed. Okay. Now we're gonna go back. I think we could put this to Murph. Yeah. Now we're just gonna walk in this room because of the liquors and stuff. And for backup, in case things don't go right, we could just use the um, the flame rounds. There's two of them right here, which is not good. It looks like I got lucky, but I think you could use the flame rounds on it. I'm gonna grab this really quick. And just run. Oh my god. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Damn, I should have packed my perk. Dang, those liquors are going crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. Now we're just gonna walk through this side. And we're gonna go into the room over there to get um, some more items. Is that 121? I don't think that's space. Nope. Put away some stuff. Oh, we don't need the, the handgun anymore. The magnum or something. Pick up a knife just in case you might need it. And we're gonna go on this side. We're also gonna get um, the large gunpowder over here. More ammo. And get ready to use your um, your flame rounds on these IVs. Just to stun them and not grab you. And if you could avoid them, then try to do that. Warning, you have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been 
Now you want to shoot it at this one? And... You pretty much just want to use it on the IVs that get in your way. And I think you could just walk past this IV. No. Just, just shoot it. And these two IVs, you... You want to use it on them too. Get the hand grenade right here. Put in OSS. And you can put that thing away. I'm pretty sure you're like really decked out right now with hella healing items and ammo and stuff so I don't know we're gonna um, just combine all these to get a lot of Also want to take out one combat knife and bring a lot of healing items. Oh, bring the spark shot too. And um, 10 acid rounds. Some needle cartridges. Um, and some healing items. I think this should work out. It should. Um, maybe bring 10 flame rounds. Yeah, okay, this does look okay. Kinda. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get hit a lot, that's why. So I'm just going to bring a lot of healing items. So this is my loadout right now. If you um, just probably have like six spark shots. Yeah, okay. Oh, forgot to save. Don't forget the healing item. Now we should be good. Now there's this little glitch. If you see on the bottom right, it says 11. 11 flame rounds, but I don't know where that extra one is stored at. So that's oh weird. God. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. Now what we're gonna do is just um hit the eyes with the spark shot the first time. 
right here, you just want to shoot it because he's doing his little animation and stuff, right? And now you just want to use your acid rounds on him so it stuns him and use it on the eye. And remember to reload, try not to forget. I can't get a good shot. Okay. Okay, now we want to run behind and use the knife on him. And I just kept knifing. Until right there. Now we can do that again. That's weird. Okay, I don't know what's happening. But I'm just gonna knife him. I think he's trying to grab this, so I'm just gonna knife him. Looks like it broke. That's okay. Now we're just gonna switch back to the, the flame rounds. Try not to get hit. Dang, okay, <laughs> got hit right there. Now there is more um, spark shot ammo over here. Yeah, it's right here. Just waiting for him to toss it. I also realized that I don't have any defense items, so if he jumps on me, I could die. Oh. It's like, that's okay. Now we're gonna get the frag grenade, the hand grenade, because that will come to use for the final boss. That's the wrong way. Try and where is it? Now there, I'm not gonna grab anything here. I don't think so. Maybe I should. Let's grab the, the flash grenades in case we need them. Make sure when you're doing the spark shot, like holding it, make sure you like distant yourself. I forgot to say that on like the the fight we just had. Now we're gonna put away some stuff. Um, that one, that one, and that. 
I want to rush you, but actually, we, we could put away the the first aid spray too because we're gonna get one when we're going down the elevator. Like after we get down from the elevator, we could get an, another first aid spray. Now the first aid spray is going to be right there. Just remember to grab it or not because you already have a lot of healing items I'm pretty sure. And there's a combat knife right here. It'll be useful for the final fight. Now put away the combat knife. I think that's it. Now if you're out of like um, spark shot ammo, Jerry, then you can just take out all the flame rounds and you use it on the, the plants that's going to come up. Make sure to check the door so that Sherry gets here faster. Wait for it to stand up and then shoot it. Now the zombie, you just want to shoot it, or you could like get hit, grabbed and use your um, flash grenade. Uh. Sherry, you hanging in there? I'm right behind you. Had a girl. Think we're almost out of here. More healing items. Where's the truck? Now we don't need the the wish band anymore. Trying to get that one out. Um, maybe bring that much. Oh, take out the knife too. Um, where's the knife at? Oh, and uh, what's it called? The the hand grenades. We should have six since we didn't like use any of them, and I. I think, actually, oh yeah, take away one healing item and put the knife in there. You don't need to use a knife, but I just decided to use it. See what happens if I switch the. I switched it right. Where is the um the flame round stored at? It's not in my inventory, but. Ok, 
get the minigun. Now once he drops down, you just want to knife him. Now once you get hit, um, I recommend that you stop knifing him from now on and switch to your grenade and also you want to dodge this. Now there's two things that he could do, he could jump on you or onto the little cart, the little train thing. So be careful on that. Right now he's gonna jump from me. Try to dodge that. Now we're all out, which is okay. We have a lot of, um, what's it called? You have a lot of minigun ammo and acid rounds. Now once he gets right here, then you basically won and you beat it. So you don't have to use your minigun or your acid rounds because He's basically dead. You, you can speed up the process by shooting it. So yeah. You guys base... Not the best time, but it's okay. Just enough to get the infinite minigun. So hopefully this guide helped you guys out, and thanks for watching. I was I, I might I might think of doing um Leon the Infinite Rocket Launcher, maybe. But that's it. See you guys later.